You're watching News Made Easy. I'm Anandya Chakravarti. 2022 is almost here and at least the first months are likely to be about Omicron variant of the coronavirus. But is it uh, going to be only like any other flu virus that hangs about in the air um, in, around this time in winters and in some other seasons as well and causes what we call viral fever or a little bit of cough and cold? Or is it going to be like the Delta virus where we saw the entire medical system collapse, oxygen shortage, many people dying and many cases of severe illness which lingered on for very, very long. We still don't know enough about that, but uh, we do know that Omicron is spreading very quickly. But whatever we have in terms of early evidence from South Africa, USA, UK and even from India suggests that uh, it is a much uh, milder uh, version of COVID than uh, we've seen both in Alpha and especially in the case of Delta. And also evidence from uh, South Africa where it was first uh, discovered uh, suggests that the peak arrives very quickly and the wave itself is short-lived. It goes up and then comes down very quickly but one doesn't know how it uh, works out in other countries. Early evidence also suggests uh, from India suggests that it is mild uh, uh, data from Delhi, for instance, from Lokna, uh, from LNJP hospital, for instance, suggests that more than 80% of patients have a very mild disease. Many are asymptomatic, have no symptoms at all. Some have mild cough, uh, very low grade fever, feeling of malaise, and almost no one till now has required ICU or uh, has required to ex oxygen support, right? Ex extensive oxygen support. Um, even uh, in the UK, we know that uh, the cases that we're seeing, hospitalization has increased, but not at the same rate as it took place during Delta. Many of the cases of hospitalization right now is with COVID, which means that they were in hospital already, but they've now acquired uh, COVID, which is the Omicron variant, but that does not mean that they are feeling ill right now because of Omicron. So one of the reasons Omicron spreads so quickly is that it spreads very fast in the upper respiratory tract with, in the human bronchus, which is essentially uh, what the connectors between your windpipe and your lungs, right? And uh, the lung tissue itself. Um, some studies suggest that uh, the um, the rate at which the Omicron virus replicates in the bronchus is almost 70 times as fast as what we saw with the Alpha variant, the first SARS-CoV-2 um, virus and uh, the Delta variant. So it, mo it replicates very fast and spreads very quickly because it's, it's staying right here and will come out with your breath while you're talking, while you're coughing and it uh, spreads very quickly because of that. But it is less likely to affect your lungs. Why? Because uh, the study shows that uh, when it enters the lung tissue, Omicron is very inefficient. It doesn't, it doesn't enter the lung tissue that easily. And also it uh, replicates at 10 times slower rate than even the original SARS-CoV-2. So we know that the Delta replicated very quickly in the lungs. It affected the lungs much faster. But Omicron is 10 times slower when it enters the lung tissue. Another thing that uh, we're seeing is that Omicron is slow at causing cell fusion. Now, what does that mean? That means that, and we saw that in the case of uh, severe COVID cases, that cells in the lungs stuck together, which allowed the virus to move from one cell to the other, replicate in it and move across very quickly. That is slow when it comes to Omicron. And uh, Delta, on the other hand, was uh, very successful in causing cell fusion, which made it a much more dangerous variant. As of now, a health warning, this is all based on early evidence. It's all based on whatever we're getting from various countries as of now, including uh, evidence that's coming from India. So this lower impact on lungs could be the cause for the milder disease that we're seeing when it comes to Omicron. Uh, but one has to uh, also understand that a disease which is mild actually propagates much faster. A virus that is mi causes milder effects propagates much faster. Why? Because when a virus or anything, a bacteria, enters your body, 
sits there and if it kills you very quickly then it also dies right so it is unable to pass itself on to the next person but if it weakens your immune system enters there replicates you don't die then it is much easier for it to move on to other ones so when mutations like these occur they replicate much faster and they tend to wipe out competitors like delta or alpha variant and this has happened across the world as viruses evolve right and omicron seems to be going that path as well and that is something that a lot of experts say is a good sign because this means that uh, the coronavirus or covid is just going to be another one of those flu type of um, diseases that exist in the air but it's not going to be lethal or very dangerous now um, uh, but here's the thing omicron super fast spread is worrying why because let's say that there uh, there's a population of 100 people right and uh, let's say that a virus which moves slowly relatively slowly like let's say it affects 20 people but it is very lethal it kills uh, let's say 25 percent of people it infects and so 20 people infected out of 100 five will die but let's assume that there's another one which uh, only kills 5% of people it infects and it infects all 100 it will still kill 5 people so that's the problem that uh, when the spread is so quick even if it is less likely to kill people given that it will infect many more people maybe the number of uh, fatalities number of serious cases might still be more or less the same and that is what is worrying about uh, Omicron and as uh, uh, a recent report in the Mint uh, newspaper suggests that COVID as uh, this new COVID virus and we don't know whether that is just Omicron or maybe Delta is coming back in Mumbai already wards are filling up in Mumbai so uh, there is a cause for concern because hospitalization has increased sharply and in a country like India where medical systems are very weak that is definitely a cause for concern and also, as we know, Omicron evades uh, the current vaccines that we have, the vaccine-induced immunity. It reduces sharply, uh, but there is evidence that if you uh, get a booster, uh, then you are likely, um, uh, likely to regain the immunity that you developed by getting a booster. You'll get that against Omicron as well. And the evidence as of now suggests that uh, those who have been vaccinated, they might get breakthrough infections. But it's very uh, uh, unlikely that they will get a severe disease or be hospitalized or uh, die of it. So uh, that itself is an important source of protection. Uh, now, uh, what can you do? It's spreading. It's going to be there. And we have to learn to live with the coronavirus, various variants of it, as we live with influenza, uh, which actually kills a lot of people, mind you, across the world. Um, well, the number one thing as of now till we all develop immunity against various kinds of variants of the coronavirus, masking is absolutely important and wearing your mask properly. Because remember, if it is moving so quickly and it is aerosolized and it can be ex uh, exhaled by people into the air very easily because it's sitting and replicating in the upper respiratory tract, then you need to mask very carefully. You have to ensure that your nose, mouth and chin is completely covered. Use N95 masks. Increasingly, doctors are saying that or double mask. Blow out to see whether your air is leaking because if it's leaking, then as chances are there that when you inhale, you will also inhale particles. So try and reduce as much as possible. Try and create a tight, uh, tight fit around your nose and mouth area so that you do not breathe in from the sides because that kind of defeats the purpose of masking very important to be in ventilated air areas because uh, studies have shown that the coronavirus actually spreads social distancing actually does not help if you're in a closed room you could be very far away but if you're in a closed room and uh, in the direction of the draft for instance in the air conditioned room uh, then there is a chance you could get it even if you're six feet of, uh, apart so ventilation and masking these are the two most important things to control this and of course the standard hygiene protocols that exist yes people might say why how long are we going to continue wearing masks well we might have to for uh, as long as these variants 
continue to threaten our populations. That's the show today. Keep watching uh, News Click. Keep watching these shows. Like us, share our videos. And I'll see you again in the new year.